Hi guys, here are my picks for the graphics cards you should buy if you plan on gaming at 720p. Again, I'll recap my uh, parameters for this, this video. Um, I'll have three levels of graphics cards. I'll have minimum, medium, and max. Minimum is the absolute cheapest I think you should go at this resolution. Like, if you plan on getting 30 FPS, mi medium to high settings, or 60 FPS at the very lowest settings, maybe even 45 to 60 FPS. Medium is like a bang for buck, so you're getting 45 to 60 FPS on high settings, and high is 60 FPS, high to ultra settings on every single game. So the most I think that you should spend at this at each resolution. So for today we're doing now this for in this video I'll be doing 720p. In my previous video I covered below 720p. In my next video I'll be covering 900p. And for my minimum graphics card, I recommend that you go with the 2200G, the R3 2200G from AMD. This is if you haven't built a computer yet. If you have built a computer yet, I, I recommend that you get the GT 1030. The reason why I say that is the 2200G is just such a great value. The GT 1030 is like 80 bucks, but the 2200G is 100 bucks plus basically an R3 1200, which alone costs 100 bucks and you get a free gpu on top of that if this way you can later upgrade and it won't cost you like it'll cost you hardly anything extra and it's just such a great value but if you already have a computer built i recommend the gt 1030 now i was planning on staying away from used graphics cards but for my bang for the buck i am going to recommend the gtx 750 ti if you can find it used on ebay the reason it, the reason is since it's 720p, I figured that you guys would um, you'd be okay with looking for used parts. 720p is a budget resolution, so I figured budget cards would be would be fine. So if you can find a uh, GTX 750Ti for 80 bucks on eBay, it will destroy the the GT 1030. So that's why it's my medium graphics card, and best bang for the buck. And then for the absolute most that I think you should spend at 720p is getting the GTX 1050. The reason is anything on that you're just gonna be wasting fps unless you have a monitor that's above 60 fps there's no reason to go above this it should get high to ultra settings on all games 60 fps at 720p and there's no reason it can't do that um guys if these videos seem like they're favoring nvidia i apologize it's um because of the cryptocurrency craze uh all the md all, all the amd cards are a little expensive um so I'll be more recommending NVIDIA. I'm basing my choices off the graphics card prices right now. So that's just how I'm going to do it. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, that sort of stuff. Um, make sure you watch my previous video and stay tuned for my next video. And uh, see you later. Well, I can stop.